Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be talking about balanced brackets. Basically, you will be given a string which contains brackets of six kinds. One is this kind, that is the opening bracket. This is the corresponding closing of that. This is another type and the closing type is this. There is one more type, that's this. And the closing type is this. So these are the uh, six or uh, three, basically three types of brackets that are given to you. And you have to tell if the string is a balanced bracket or not. Now, what does that mean? If you carefully observe, this is an opening bracket for which I have a closing bracket. So this opening has been closed. This is an opening bracket. So this is an opening bracket. For this, this has a closing bracket. So these two are closed. This is an opening bracket. For this, there is a closing bracket. Again, for this, there is this guy. I can see every bracket is balanced. Hence, I can say this string is a balanced bracket. Now, let's check this out. I can see this opening has this closing. I can see this opening has this closing. But I cannot see for this closing an opening bracket. Hence, I'll say this is not a balanced bracket. What about this? If I give you this string, Again, this is not balanced because for this opening, I know there is a closing, but that's on the opposite side. It's very important. It should have been on the other side. Similarly, if I ask you, is this balanced or not? Again, you cannot say that this is balanced. This is also not balanced. Why? Because for this opening, this closing comes in. But apparently for this opening, this closing should have been. That's why this is also not a balanced bracket sequence. Simple one. Before moving on to the next part of the video, let me tell you about Coding Ninjas. Now, Coding Ninjas is one of the largest coding education company and they have taught around 50k plus students. Now, they offer you courses in programming in different languages like C++, Java, Python. They also have courses for machine learning, Android development, data science and web dev. The content quality is exceptional as it is made by experts from IIT, Stanford, Amazon and Facebook. They do offer you one is to one doubt resolving support and the average doubt solving time that they take is, is literally the best in the market. Now, since the courses are really well structured and so many have benefited from it, I guess you should give it a try. And if you feel so, do use the link in the description to avail a discount, which will be added above the one which is already present in the website. So guys, go and check it out. So in order to check if the given string is a balanced bracket or not, we have to use stack data structure, which is a last in first out data structure. Now, if you don't know what is a stack, you can definitely watch my previous videos. So what you'll do is remember this whenever it's an opening bracket. Now the opening brackets can be of these kinds. This one, this one or this one. Whenever it's an opening bracket, please push it into the stack. So let's start iterating. The first time I have an opening bracket, just take this opening bracket, push it into your stack. Next, move to the next element. This is again an opening bracket. Take it and push it into your stack. Next, this is a closing bracket. Now remember, whenever, yes, whenever you get a closing bracket, it can be of this kind, it can be of this kind, it can be of this kind. Any of the closing brackets you get, check if the stack is non-empty. I see the stack is non-empty. That means for this closing, there might be an opening. There should have, like there should be an opening. If the stack is empty, that means it is not balanced. So I see the stack is non-empty. Take the topmost out and take the current guy and see if they're opposite. And if they're opposite, I can say for this closing, I have a corresponding opening. Hence, I can move ahead and I'll move ahead to this guy. Again, it's an opening. Whenever it's an opening, please make sure you put it in. Next, it's an opening. Again, if it's an opening, please make sure you put it in. Next step, this is again an opening. Please make sure you put it into your stack. Next step, what is this? This is a closing bracket. Again, if it's a closing bracket, you check if there exists an opening in the stack. That means stack is non-empty or not. Stack is non-empty. Take out the topmost guy and compare if they're opposite. They are. 
I can say for this guy, I currently have one of its opening bracket. Hence, I'll move to the next guy. What is the next guy? And closing. So I need a corresponding opening. Let's look at the stack. The top guy, let's take it out. Is it a corresponding opening? Yes, it is. So I can say this guy also has a corresponding guy. So I'll move next. Now when I move next, I have again a closing. So if I again have a closing, can I say again I'll look on the stack? So the moment I look onto the stack, I get discs and these are again opposite. So I can say this is also balanced. Hence, I'll move ahead to the last guy. The moment I move to the last guy, I again take this guy out and I see if they are opposite and I see that they are opposite. Hence, I can say the last guy is also balanced and I move out. Now, when I move out, the stack has to be empty. Yes, this stack has to be empty, which signifies that everyone got its corresponding opening and closing. And since we got it, we can say that this given string is a balanced string. Now, let's check out with one more example where this string is not balanced. Let's take this small example to check if the string is balanced or not. So at first, this is an opening bracket. Whenever it's an opening, put it into your stack. Next, move to the next guy. So again, which bracket opening, put it into your stack. Next, move which bracket opening, put it into your stack. Next, move which bracket closing. If it's a closing bracket, please take out the last element of the stack and check if they are opposites. I see they are opposites. So I can definitely move to the next guy. When I move to the next guy, that's a closing. So I'll take the top of the stack and these are not opposite. And if they're not opposite, you can definitely return saying that it's not balanced. This doesn't have it's not balanced because this guy did not find its closing. Hence, I can say it's not balanced. Now, what are, what is one more case if I talk about, if I talk about one more case, uh, let's take this case where I say I have this, I have this. Okay. So over here, what we will see is we go over here. It's an opening. I put it into your stack, right? Next, I go over here. It's an opening. I put it into your stack. Next, I go here which is a closing. So if this is a closing, what I'll do is I'll take the topmost guy and these guys are opposite. And if they're opposite, I will definitely move this guy ahead to the last guy. Hence, the complete iteration is over and I did find everyone balanced. But, but this stack is not empty, which means for this guy, I did not find a no closing one. Hence, this string is unbalanced. So these are the three cases that you need to take care. If there has been an opposite, we can keep on continuing. If uh, they're not opposite, it's unbalanced. And if at the end, the stack, the stack has to be empty. There, there's, there's one more case you need to also take care of. Imagine uh, it starts like this. Okay. So in this case, if this is a closing one, if this is a closing bracket, the stack will not have anything. So if you have someone as a closing bracket and the stack doesn't have anyone, which means it doesn't have any opening. Hence, you can uh, say it's an unbalanced one. So these are the cases you need to take care while writing the code. So now I'll be moving on to the code. Let's check out the code with all the edge cases covered. So I know I have a string. So first I have to declare a stack. So let's declare a stack. So this is how I'll declare a stack. And now what you'll do is you will try moving in from i equal to zero to i lesser than uh, n, which is the string size, and you'll keep on moving. Now, what will you write? Can I say if it's an opening bracket, I don't have to be uh, doing anything like if it's an opening bracket, like if it is this bracket or if it is uh, this bracket or if it is the other one. Then can I say, I actually don't need to do anything. I will take this stack and I'll say, hey, can you please push in this uh, string of i? So he does that. Or what if it's a closing bracket? Then the else will come in. Yes. 
then the else will come in. That's very important, very, very important. If inside this else, I see the stack is empty. If the stack is empty, can I say for the closing bracket, I did not have an opening bracket. Hence, I can say return false, which means it's an empty. The stack is empty. That means it doesn't have an opposite one. But what if it does have? Then what you'll do is you will take this character C equal to ST dot top. Yes, kindly take it. And right after that, you can definitely do a ST dot pop so that that guy gets out of the stack. So your current character is ST dot top. Now, you know one thing, if your S of I is equal to equal to this closing, then your C has to be this opening. This is one of the cases. Similarly, similarly, I can have the other three cases for three brackets. And if any one of the three if statement is satisfying, that's completely okay. But if any of these three doesn't satisfy and I come to this else, then I can say return false. If any of these three doesn't satisfy, then I can say return false. And this is where my for loop will end. Once this for loop execution is over, what I'll do is if the stack stands empty yes if the stack stands empty after the entire for loop execution if it stands empty i can say it's a balanced bracket or else i will say it's not a balanced bracket this is how the code will look in order to check for a balanced bracket if i talk about the time complexity can i say i'm just iterating on a string which makes it a big O of N. Now, can I say the space complexity that I am using is big O of N because I'm using a stack data structure. Apart from that, I don't see anything. But please make sure you do a stack dot empty check before doing a stack dot top because the stack has to have elements in order to execute stack dot top. Otherwise, it will give you a runtime error. So guys, this will be it for the balance bracket explanation and the code. I hope you have understood the entire explanation. Just in case you did, please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing. Bye-bye. Take care.